what the haters talking about. What's up, family? We have what's being described as Crip gang members who robbed and threatened to kill two kids who were selling bottled water on the side of the road. Let me tell you something, fam. One of the biggest problems that we have in the hood is grown ass people who bully young people, who take advantage of young people, who abuse young people. These dudes should be looking out for the little youngsters, right? They should be like encouraging them, like, yeah, man, y'all see y'all out there, y'all getting y'all hustle on, y'all doing the right thing, man, y'all keep, keep up the good work. Here go a couple of dollars. But no, that's too much like right. They decide that they want to rob the kids. And what are they taking? Pocket change and water. They just got a robbery case over a couple of dollars. Like literally a couple of dollars. They just picked up a robbery case. And they're on video. So the prosecutor got all the information they need to make the arrest and seal the indictment, like slam dunk the conviction. Come on, fam, you gotta do better than that. For those out there who might have it on your mind to take advantage of the youngsters, think about yourself when you was about their age. Wouldn't you have wanted somebody to look out for you? Did, did you appreciate grown people taking advantage of you, mistreating you because they could, because they were bigger than you, because they were stronger than you? Didn't that run you hot? Why would you do the same thing to these kids? This is why a lot of the youngsters grow up with no respect whatsoever. That one kid who had the black on, you could look at his face when he was being robbed. He had a look like, this is my last time being robbed. Nobody's going to take advantage of me again. He had a look like, yeah, I'm going to be ready next time. And what if he see dude who threatened his life? Tell him, next time I see you, I'm going to kill you. Now, the thing about this situation was, it looks like it has something to do with a prior beef. Maybe these dudes got ops and these kids were affiliated in some way. Maybe they was friends with some of them or perhaps they were uh, family members or something. Because they asked about some name and said, yeah, when I see him, blah, 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 whatever. So it looks like this. it might have, it might be more than what just meets the eye. But still, you don't do that to youngsters, man. You don't do that. You don't traumatize those kids like that. You don't do that, man. You know, a lot of these dudes, they just unlearned, man. They just don't have any type of principles whatsoever. You don't rob babies, man. You know, like, really shouldn't be out robbing anybody. But kids, babies, who walked the same damn streets you walk, who had to go through the same struggles that you went through, you want to put that type of energy in their life? This is why I started packing heat when I was 15. Because you had older dudes running around trying to beef with kids. Like, oh yeah, I got something for y'all asses, you know? These older dudes in the neighborhood, they're competing with the kids 
for money. They're competing with them for recognition, reputation, and girls. A lot of these older dudes, these, these dudes, they, they looking at the same thing that these kids are looking at. They trying to get with the, you know, with the young girls too. You know, these dudes is 20s, 30s, 40s years old, and they trying to date 15, 16 year olds. Real talk. So that's why a lot of them treat a lot of the youngsters that way. They look at the youngsters like competition. They should be giving them words of encouragement. Should be trying to guide these youngsters, give them some game. You know, but instead of doing that, these suckers out here trying to take advantage of the youngsters. They're out here robbing kids, babies. These boys, these little boys, trying to do the right thing. Do you know how hard it is with all of this temptation out there? With all of this stuff that these kids see on social media, with everybody look like they got it. Everybody flossing, everybody hanging out, popping bottles, wearing jewelry, got the pretty girls riding in the fly car, getting on the jets. Everybody got a chain on. And these boys have to humble themselves and they go out there on that street and they sell water to earn an honest living. You know it's some suckers that are in their age group who might laugh at them because they're out there selling water. Now, he, meanwhile, this fool ain't got two nickels to rub together. He got to ask money from, the, from his mama, from his daddy. But he laughing at the kid that's selling water on the street. That's the kid who should be getting the praise. That's the one who should be getting the recognition. That's the one who should be saluted. Not the one trying to take the shortcut who going to end up dead or in jail, damn near guaranteed. I don't know, fam. You know, if I had to guess, those same little old dudes, all three of them would not be alive and free within the next month. I, I, I would say even in, within the next couple of weeks. You know, they're not gonna, I, I, they won't. Chances are, all three of them would not, definitely not be alive or free within the next two, three weeks. You can't move like that, man. You can't move like that. Karma gonna get you. And karma knows where everybody lives. It has an address on everybody. I hope them little dudes are all right, man. I hope they can recover. They can bounce back from this, man. And I hope it don't deter them from getting out there and trying to get it the right way because the odds are if they do it, continue on the trajectory that they're on, if they continue to do what they're doing, they're going to be all right. But if they allow this to discourage them, they can easily fall into that trap like the other ones who robbed them did. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Damn.